Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick Rodriguez. We're here at Sonda headquarters, and we're here with Inside Mind. Uh, I grew up in Morris County, New Jersey. You know, it's pretty far from the city, pretty far from Brooklyn. It's far from everything. So I, I didn't really spend too much time there growing up. You know, I kind of just went to school there, and then in my free time, I just was exploring, you know. I, I had a lot of friends in a lot of different places. So I was, I was lucky enough to, you know, experience different places, you know, and I feel like that's why I have, like, such a strong interest in, like, culture and seeing, like, how people are in, in different areas because I spent so much time going to different places. So music has been a part of my life, my whole life. You know, my, my parents always like had music around me. My mom actually always had the, uh, the Louis DeVito underground CDs. So just like growing up, my mom always like music everywhere. So then when I was 13, I went to my first teen club in uh, Seaside Heights Surf Club. They were the teen nights and I went and I just like, you know, fell in love with everything that I had to offer. I, you know, you're there with your, your best friends, you choose who you want to be with. Everyone's free to do whatever they want, you know, like everyone gets along, like, you know, for the most part, it's, it's all love. So I, I fell in love with it. I started finding out where to go to more teen nights, teen nights. So I would drag my friends out and then next thing you know, I start promoting teen nights. You know, I have a little guest list, people, you know, I, say my name at the door type of thing and it was cool and then and then I, I just wanted to start DJing so you know I bought a little controller and I would have it in my room playing playing on tractor you know and I had I had a friend JJ he was DJing at the time and we would just start like DJing together so I started DJing in a duo and we had a lot of fun doing that you know we played in a short period of time we played a lot of cool gigs you know we played um Electric Zoo twice, that was cool. You know, Pasha, like, we, we had a lot of fun. It was a good time. But we kind of just wanted, we wanted different things. We had different goals, different visions. So, you know, just to, for the best, it was best that we just started doing our own thing, you know? He's happy now, I'm happy now. And so then I started doing my, my own thing. And, uh, and now we're here. So, Originally, I had started Sonder with um, two friends who down the road just didn't have the same mindset. They didn't want the same things. So um, along that way, I, I had reconnected with uh, an old friend that I knew from back in um, like when Newark, the Newark scene was a thing. And, uh, and then I had met another friend along the way, my boys, uh, Nico and Galindo. So we brought them on board, and then uh, shortly after that, we brought on our boy Alan M from Brooklyn. So then, um, and then it was four of us: me, Nico, Galindo, Alan. And then uh, just recently, we brought on our boy Dave, who was my name of Bad Habits. He's a real good DJ. He's gonna do his thing. And then uh, we just started doing everything. We all like were on the same page, you know, like kept the family vibe. It was all about us. And uh, now we're here. So my biggest struggle personally is my location. Everything we do is really based out of Brooklyn, you know, New York, the city. I live in New Jersey, but not only do I live in New Jersey, I live in Morris County. So it's like an hour and a half away, an hour at least from any, anything I want to do. So a big part of the game is, you know, being out, showing face, supporting. So it's hard for me to be out and support all my friends, all the people that I would want to on a regular basis, just because of my location, because the community itself, it's a lot, it takes a toll. Um, but like if I could be there and if it was easier for me, I really would. I, that's something, you know, I, my biggest thing. But, um, Another thing is, you know, always trying to like stay on top of the game, stay ahead of the curve, think of new ideas, staying fresh, staying motivated, you know, because sometimes it gets hard because it's, it's very, uh, it's very oversaturated, you know, there's a lot of people that want to do what everyone's doing right now. And so it's always, you know, you always got to stay ahead of the curve, 
you always got to, you know, keep it fresh, keep it new. So it's all, that's always definitely a challenge. Um, come here to studio, you know, we, we're always here. We're just feeding off each other's energy, you know, keeping the vibe straight. Um, it's all about who you surround yourself with, really. You, uh, you surround yourself with a bunch of bums, you're going to be a bum. You know, it's just, just how it works. Sometimes I feel like people may think I'm like unapproachable, like you, like that I, you know, you see me out and I don't I don't really want to talk to anybody. But you know, I, I like to meet new people. I like to connect. You know, you see me, you know, say what's up, meet a new friend. You know, um, I feel like it's hard for people to have misconceptions about me because when I meet somebody, you know, I I do my best to just keep it real, keep it like as a hundred as possible. So there's like no gray areas, you know? I just, I just rather everyone just know me for who I am, take me for who I am. And I'd prefer nobody to have any misconceptions of me and just understand who I am from the beginning. Um, challenge yourself. So a big part of, in my opinion, of doing nightlife is uh, always knowing what's going on always studying the industry, studying what's going on, what, what everyone else is doing. You know, um, you gotta pay attention to the people who have been doing it longer than you, who who know what they're doing, have have very good reputations. You always gotta know what they're doing and kind of try and figure out what they're planning for and just kind of learn how to move, you know? Because Nightlife, I feel like, is a very strategic game. It's all about strategy. You know, there's there's always gonna be dates that are, due, that are better to do parties than other dates. You know, um, so I feel like a big challenge is always being on top of everything that's going on. Because not only, in my opinion, should you be paying attention to what's going on in your city, but what's going on in other cities. Because you can think you have it all figured out, but there's always going to be someone thinking of something that you're not thinking of somewhere. So the biggest challenge for me is, you know, like finding the, the time to sit there and really study what what's going on in the whole in, like the whole industry, not only in New York or Brooklyn, but just on a, on a worldwide aspect. Um, I feel like sometimes I can get ahead of myself in the sense of I want something and I'll be so eager and ambitious for something that I'll kind of just jump at the idea rather than uh, sit back. And, you know, I feel like now the best thing to do when you, you really want something is give it 24 hours. You know, just don't, don't respond. Don't make any decision until you give it 24 hours. So uh, I'm trying to work on that, you know, not being so like to jump the gun, you know, kind of just chill a little bit. Uh, <laughs> man. Jersey used to be the shit. There used to be really good parties in New Jersey. And uh, I feel like it's not impossible. There, there could, Jersey could have something, but the people in power to do it, they don't want to take the risk. They don't want to take the chance because they know it works. And it's, it's tough in Jersey. Everything in Jersey closes 2, 3 a.m. In New York, so you never sleeps, you know? It's, you could just cross the bridge and, or the tunnel and stay out till, you know, two days since you left your house. But in New Jersey, everything closes early. So the people, the people in power to do so, they just don't want to take the risk. Uh, right now, the Fuse guys are all putting out really good productions. Um, Prong, Chris Dussie, they're putting out really good tracks. Um, my boy Alan M, he's he's working in the studio right now, cooking up some fire from, from Sande. He, he's he's cooking right now. He, he's definitely one of my favorite producers right now, hands down. Favorite gig, let's think. Like we were talking about before, Flash Factory, me and uh, JJ, when we had to do it, we opened for art department. That was a lot of fun. 
the room filled fast. It was great sound in there. You know, flash practice was a good time. Um, playing output in the main room for the first time. That that was probably, yeah, that was, that was one of my favorite gigs. That, that, that was crazy. You know, so many, so many friends of mine came out for that. You know, we, we had a nice dinner before. It was like, it was a nice night. A lot of people came out and yeah, you know, Alpo, Alpo is a great place. So anytime at Alpo is just memorable. I don't, nah, I feel like, I don't want to say the best festival I've been to, but I feel like the best trip that I've had like the music based trip was Ibiza. I, I I can't name a festival, but you know Ibiza, it was a great time. You know my first time on the island, it, it was it was everything everyone said it was gonna be, and then you know I enjoyed it in my own way. So it, it, it was great. But damn the festival, um, you know what BPM Mexico, BPM Mexico is my favorite festival. Yeah, that was that was dope. It was a great time. I had a lot of fun there. Success. You know, I just I just want to be successful, whether it be in music or anything that I do or anything that, you know, my loved ones, my friends, my family do. I just want success around me. It's just it's another way around it. Dream Club is Amnesia, hands down, in Ibiza. I, I got to see uh, Ricardo play there with RPR. And when, when I saw that, I was like, yo, this is the club. <laughs> this is the club to play at. You make it when you play Amnesia. You know what, honestly, my dream festival scenario would definitely be in New York. Where everything I've done and started is based. To I feel like a big part of I feel like <clears throat> if you don't get love where you're from, if you don't get love in your hometown, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Like it, you could play packed places all around the world. That's awesome. That's great. But I feel like if you come to your hometown and it's not it's not that same vibe, then like it's not real. You know. Um, I like basketball. Um, I like food. You know, I, li I like to ex like eat different kinds of foods. <clears throat> I um, I mean, I really like hip hop. I know that you, you said outside of music, but outside of like electronic music and all the music that I DJ and I play, or I'm really into like hip hop and hip hop culture. You know. Um, but honestly, music is just everything to me. Like I, I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is I start playing music. I listen to music all day, whether it's hip hop, house music, reggae. You know, I, I grew up with a lot of reggae. You know, my father's from Guyana, so you know, reggae, reggae has always been like everything. So you know, it's just music in general. Like, there's not really much life outside of music for me. <laughs> Uh, we're working, you know, I don't, I don't want to give away too much, but we're definitely working on some new and fresh ideas, uh, some things that we've never done before and things that we haven't really seen anyone do before, you know, and that, that's the beauty of having a collective of everybody that's, you know, always on the same page. And, you know, we, we keep, you know, those, those are my brothers, you know, we're brothers. So when you have something like you know so close to family you know ideas they really come about and we're working we're hungry right now and uh, we're just staying motivated and you know a lot of studio time we'll all be releasing music you know and just keep having fun you know that's what it's all about just having fun for us it's good times we're just more good times thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the show you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page at, at Nick Rodriguez DJ. Uh, make sure to come out to Bushwick AV Sunday morning, March 24th, starting at 4 a.m. We're going to do the Sonder two-year anniversary. 
with me, Alan M, Nico Galindo, and Bad Habits. That's it.